Very good. That's Kingi Kaurua. He's he's a very good announcer. Maori, he's top top uh, Maori uh, host in New Zealand, uh, Auckland, Radio Watia, 6.03 AM. Uh, and uh, I've had several talks now over this um, few weeks that have gone by, and we should have gone to the United Nations by now, but um, 
However, we're just waiting for our plan B uh, to uh, raise some money to go. It's always going to be a problem. won't be a problem once we get it, Mr John Key. You've got all the money, you've, you've hoarded it yourself for your government in Wellington, and I'm going to investigate you and all, where all the money gone, and where, who got the land, how they get it, and because it's Matariki coming up, wish upon a star to clear this all up, all right? just to the, the uh, people of the world watching this video, and uh, also for our Maori people, Polynesian people, and Samoans, Tongans, Rarotongans, Hawaiians, all those people uh, who are waiting for Maoris, always going to wait for Maori. We'll go last. That's what uh, it appears to be. And um, meant to be, we're supposed to settle everybody first before we settle ourselves. So the time has come now for Matariki and a uh, new beginning and uh, uh, a new life force is about to happen. And um, we're from the east coast of the uh, North Island, New Zealand. Uh, that's the uh, front door at the East Cape, the Rising Sun Ra. The same Ra is uh, in uh, Egypt and also on Ra uh, Rapa Nui and Raiate. They recognize the Tahitian Ra, Sun God, and uh, with, the, uh, with the Nubian, Sudanese, Syrians, those people up there, the indigenous people, um, on uh, in um, Cairo, <coughs> in North uh, Africa. Africa, it's really Africa, uh, and all those, um, uh, unfortunately, all those uh, Europeans and British people have clouded the place out and they're shooting the place up, which is not nice. That's all going to change in this Matariki. And we will be flying our flag. This flag here is Matariki. For us, it's been in the closet, Mr. John Key, in Wellington for such a long time. 170 years and longer because you put it away in the cupboard. It's still the real constitution to Westminster. Unfortunately for you, you have nothing like that. You're just borrowing that one to do your Treaty of Waitangi, 1840. Immigration document, that's all it is. Immigration document allowed you to settle here. Now that you're settled, we get rid of that. Finish. We go on to this. All right? Matariki. New beginnings. Back to the beginning. You can't go ahead until you look back where you came from. All right? There's no future without a past. You must have the past to show the people, the children, where they came from and where they're going to. Okay, so Matariki, uh, a star is born. There are going to be a few stars, might be a monster, uh, anyway, um, for Maori and uh, Pacific Island people. Um, in particular, Maori have been the host of this country Laid, laid the red carpet out for everybody to, to, to come here, have a haka for them, make a welcome. Now it's time for Te Pākehā to welcome us back on our own land in Matariki and start giving back what they've taken. And that's how, that's how it works. No more taking all the time. Sometimes you must give. So that's our little video for today. And I just wanted to... Uh, uh, Sue rang me up today just to see if I'm going to listen tonight. And I said yes. She's very uh, popular now in Gisborne, on the East Coast, and the people love her because, I tell you what, she knows what she's talking about, and she knows politics. She's um, uh, been a policy maker for the Labour government in the early days, and she knows the titles, <coughs> <coughs> has all the whakapapa. I should know because I've seen it. I should know. And anyway, she'll fit a, a government role, no trouble. I have no trouble with that. She'll go to the United Nations and represent Māori until her job is done. When it's done, it's time to move over for the young people to come in and take over. But 
she has fulfilled a long time dream, a long time wish on a star, uh, that she completes her job. It was mandated in 2010, 2011, up at Waitangi, um, um, mandated to finish off the Maori government, which is this, um, these forms here. I was showing you earlier. All these, all these Maori government. These, I've got a copy of everything in her Maori government. Uh, I don't wish to be in a Maori government because I'm a CEO. CEO uh, uh, is a better position to be in because you, you get to run things and not comfortable to anybody. Right? That's, I'm talking about this tidal energy project thing. So anyway, that's the Maori government, uh, Sue Nakora, and she's, uh, she's uh, very, very good at her job. She knows what she's doing. In fact, she'll replace all those people in Wellington and John Key's government because they always get it wrong. They can't even look after Maori, can't even look after their own selves. And uh, always, how would you, how, how could you possibly run a business down in debt? That's no good. So we're going to change all of that uh, when we get going. You'll, you'll notice my website uh, on Facebook. You'll see a lot of things happening there uh, with uh, helicopters and stuff. So those, we're just getting ready because we'll be, <coughs> we'll be kicking off <coughs> with this Maori government in Matariki. We only got till the 28th to do it. Right? So she tells me. So I better put the gears in, <coughs> go up a notch, and speed it up a little bit here. Because there ain't nobody around here, just me, to uh, uh, get in going. Well, I'm just waiting for Transpower this week, have a meeting with them, show them the new things coming up for Matariki, power. Power generation, power people down the East Coast, so they don't have to struggle and pay for power bills, stupid power bills, and all the bills and everything, and all debts and all that. We're gone. No more mortgages. And the Treaty of Waitangi 1840 document is a mortgage document. All right? Camera one. The Treaty of Waitangi 1840 agreement was cunningly written up. Right? As soon as the ink was not even dry, Away they went and put pegs in the ground, sold the land off, not even theirs. Right. That's the answer to my wife for that. So, <coughs> camera two, have a nice Matariki, everybody, and in the Pacific Islands and all your money hitties that come here to live with us. That's how it is. You're still living with us. We can actually tell you to go home if you want to, but if you missed it, play out. So, this is our day today, and uh, I just want to to thank Sue for um, being, being nice to me and I have to be nice back to her and she has to be nice to everybody and I have to be nice to everybody too and that's the way it's going to happen okay. thank you very much uh, for your time and watching this video bye for now and be nice, no lies and no cheating <laughs>